Today we're going to create a digital binder for all of the work you're going to be doing this year. Very similar to an actual physical binder where you'll have different folders set aside for each of your courses so that you can keep all of your materials organized. We're going to be using our Google Drive to do that. And the nice thing about the Google Drive is if you're saving your documents and uh, on your Google Drive, you can access them from any device that has um, access to the internet. Okay, so first let's make sure you're signed in to your school account and you can see that in either of these sections here. So if you click on that, it'll tell you that you are in your Yuma Union account. So make sure you're in your Yuma Union account. Okay, and then we'll just go here to our Google Apps and choose the Google Drive. Okay, so let me show you what an actual online binder looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my online binder from last year, just so that you can see the organizational pieces that we're going to incorporate. Now this is specific, of course, to my course from last year, Pre-Calculus, but you can see here, I'm in my math courses and my Pre-Calculus course, in last year and I have it separated into two semesters and in each semester I have each unit has its own section or its own folder so what we're going to do is help you get this set up teach you how to create this for yourself and then of course you can organize it in whichever manner makes the most sense to you so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my drive you need to be in my drive meaning your drive not my drive Okay, so we're going to create your binder. Now you could actually call it, we could create an over uh, arching binder. Like, okay, so I could call this Mrs. Frames 2020-2021 binder. So you could name it your binder and this could be your folder. And within that binder, now we've got our binder. Um, you can create all of your folders for each of your classes. Okay, and so now you can see that here I have my binder. Now sometimes I like to be able to find my binder, so I'll right click and I'll change the color so that it's easy for me to see my file when I'm looking for it. All right, so now that I'm in my binder, I'm gonna go ahead and open it, and we're going to create all our folders or all our sections for each of our classes. So to do that, we're going to click New, create a folder here, and let's see, let's do an English Language Arts folder. And maybe you want to color everything in your English language arts in blue. And let's add a science folder. Now I'm keeping these very generic names. If your science class is biology, you could actually name the, the folder biology. Okay, uh, let's do a social studies folder. Again, you could name that US history economics whatever that course is named change the color of that we'll do that in purple that's a fun color and then let's make a math folder all right we'll create that and there we go I'll make that one orange okay so i have all of my core courses have sections in my notebook now if you need a notebook or a section in your notebook for say your wilderness survival course because you do a lot of work in there and you have to say turn in a lot of documents make a folder for every class where you're having to produce assignments and documents okay so now <clears throat> let's go ahead and i'm just going to go into my math folder just to show you a couple of things all right so here i am in my math folder I'm going to create in my, so you can see I'm in my drive, my binder, my math folder. I'm going to add a folder in my math folder and I'm going to name it unit one. Okay, all right. All right, now how do I save documents? How do I put documents that I've created into this folder? Well, let me show you. I have some saved here. Let's see, here we go. So let's say that I'm creating a Google Doc, right? And I want to save my Google Doc and I want it, all of my documents to be in the same place. So how do I save this? I'm just going to go to File and come down here to Move. And I'm going to find my binder. 
and I'm going to go to my math folder and I'm going to go to my unit one folder and move it. And now I've saved that document in that folder. If I was working on Google Slides, I could do the same thing. So here I have a Google Slides here. File, move, and then just find your binder and keep arrowing forward until you find the section you want to save it in and move it there. Now, let me go back to my binder here and let's take a look and see if it's saved in my unit. You can see there now that I have both of those documents in that centralized storage area. I can also, what's really nice, take things that I've created on my computer. For example, here I made a video. I can just drag it and drop it and it'll upload right into my um, folder. I can do the same thing with say a Word document and I don't think you guys have Word on your computer, but just anything that you create um, on your desktop or on your computer that you want to save in um, your folder. And so now it's all in this really nice um, centralized space. And so what you'll do with all of your teachers is say you go to science class, you can go ahead and open up your binder and then go into your science class. And your teacher can tell you how many units you're going to have and you can build your sections for that. And same thing for English and your social studies. You can customize your binder however you want and your teachers can give you suggestions that will help you to even become more organized than you already are. Okay, so that's all we have for you today. Best of luck to you this year. Get organized and have a good one.